my guests, my boys. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I am YT Dan, and today we're going to be getting in there to talk about a new Xyz power. My boys, I've been in the lab doing the dankest research to bring you the most spiciest Xyz summoning deck. So if you're interested in seeing more Xyz power, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and crush the like button for your boy. Now listen, we're running the Xyz Never Miss with the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links right now, Goblin Berg. This card lets you special summon a level four monster when this card is normal summoned. What's amazing about Goblin Berg is that you can summon the Ma Hunter or the Pa Hunter. And if you summon Ma or Pa, you wanna follow it up with Step Bro and help get little sis out of the dryer. Now listen, this deck is really spicy because we're using Shining Angel. This is the missing link for this deck. On the first turn, you can set your Shining Angel and the Shining Angel is destroyed. You can either search out additional Shining Angels or search out a Ma or Pa Hunter. Now you wanna make sure that you get the opposite to what you have in your hand. For example, if you have two Ma's, you wanna get a Pa. If you have two Pa's, you wanna get a Ma, etc vice versa uh but basically you want to be able to summon three monsters off of their own effect so let's say shining angel is destroyed you search your deck grab pa hunter then on your turn you activate pa hunter's effect to summon ma and you activate mob's effect to summon another pa and then after you exceed summon or synchro summon or whatever you do um you go ahead and follow up and you can uh, summon one more monster uh due to the effect and you just keep going like that and it's pretty spicy um so why i like this deck is because it's easy to get up the three monsters so you can play destiny hero plasma and plasma is really good in this format right now um definitely came in handy clapped a black wing deck got to suck up obsidian hog joe really good and then also um by using this technique it lets you summon two xc's monsters in one turn um, or summon two one exceeds monsters and one synchro monster. So this deck can hit synchro, this deck can hit fusion, and this deck can hit exceeds. Now it's pretty spicy because we can hit cowboy for game a ton in this deck. I love hitting cowboy for game. Using uh, the Geo Math Mech Magma is disgusting because Vylon Prism is a level four tuner that is a thunder monster meaning that it can be summoned using Ma and Pa Hunter or be summoned using Shining Angel. Um, you can even use Sis Hunter to pick it up and you can use uh, Thunder Seahorse to search it out if you choose to use those cards. Um, I use Thunder Seahorse in combination with Kite Roy because it's just a good combo since you can't special summon for that turn. You can use Kite Roy to uh, stall out the turn. Also, this deck has a tons of recovery potential. You can use uh, recycling batteries to pick your cards up and continuously continue to exceed summoning combo. Now, I did try to use the Stellar Knight cards in this deck. I just basically teched in one copy of uh, the mainstream Stellar Knight cards um, to pretty much support this exceed summon. And the long story short is, it's not necessarily 100% viable because I think it's better, you are got a better off option by running Destiny Hero Plasma and Shining Angel because it synergizes a little bit better. However, there has been duels that I have used my Hunters to summon Deltaros, and then because I had these additional pieces in the deck, I was able to bounce his effect and continuously uh, use his effect to manage my resources. So that's just another thing. Um, and then also Forbidden Lance is key for this deck. There's so much disruption, and right now the meta is insane. I don't know if you, any of you guys have played Legend Rank and not um, the Grand Prix, but Legend is full of people that are playing, like, everything. And I mean, like, not everything like Animal Planet Maniacs, everything like all the good old decks are back and the new old decks, the new good decks are here, plus a bunch of new stuff you've never seen before, but a lot of combos involving this Goblin Bird. So, you're going to see more stuff about Goblinburg coming out pretty soon. Um, we're running the skill set ties that till because ties on Gaga Ga Samurai is 2,000 attack twice per game. And it's amazing how often I get this combo out. Gaga Ga 
Samurai tries to till 2000 attack tries per game. But I'm enjoying this deck, my boys. This is the Xyz Never Miss, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. And as always, I keep it a dank. All right, let's get in here very quickly. Let's get in here before the baby arises. Let's get in here before any type of doom or surprises. We gotta clap and get in there against this duelist from China. Danny, I'm on my rank up and I'm going second. Shh, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Here we go. Ooh, just one face down, but oh. All right. Let's go with Goblin Bug. Goblin Bug's effect. Special summon. And then normal summon. All right. And then Bro Honda. Let's see. Bro Honda put it on ya. So we kind of know what's up. Uh, I like to go get Prism. And then we're gonna, hmm. What is, what is that monster? Oh, that thing has like 2,100 defense. If he said it, the Cyber Dragon Ray or something like that. It's got big defense. Uh, let's make Utopia. You can't take chances. Because we're playing against Cyber Dragon. And uh, if he gets the upper hand on us, then, you know, we'll lose. But Utopia can keep him from clapping us so easily. Now, here comes the debate. Should I set this card or should I play it? I'm going to keep it in my hand. I'm not going to set it. Yep. 21. Take your 15. All right. So he's going to have a cyber style. He's going to be able to pop and summon his big boy. But next time we'll be able to punish him hard. We'll have to draw the right card. This, as long as he can't like just straight up murk our utopia, which is fine. You know, we should be able to stop him with our utopia in the gates. What is he going to make? He's going to make cyber and dragon. He's going to make cyber and dragon like a maniac. I think that that can hold me off. Oh no, Cyber Twin Dragon. All right. Cyber Twin Dragon. Fusion Gate. Oh shit. Bro. <laughs> Fusion Gate. Oh no. Well, Utopia's effect. We're gonna negate it. Uh, shit. Utopia's effect. We're gonna negate it. My turn. Da da. All right, so we've got it. We're gonna summon the Vylon Prism. Let's hit up the Synchro Summon. Yes. Synchro Summon. Let's go. We got some of that Geomech voice. I've calculated your doom. Vylon Prism. Super equipped to the boy. Vylon Prism, super equipped to the boy. Put it on my boy. Super equipped. The tie is the tilt. Here we go. Attack my math mech beast. Let's 
Cyber Load Fusion. Oh, so he's gonna summon Watchmajig to destroy this card. But that's, that would be spicy normally. That would be spicy normally. That would be spicy normally. That would be, but I have this. Forbidden Lance. Take a sip of the forbidden, you mocking the beast. Cut your attack. Continue my attack. Wipe out this beast. And destroy two cards. I'm destroying two cards. Now, Utopia! This is the power of my exceeds never meets. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.
different dimension demons, conquerors and kings of the different dimension, the Triple D, were banished from the metagame and cast out into the shadows for all time. Ignored by the tier list 